Okay guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss total surface area of cone. So, in this video we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So, coming to the first section where we are going to deal with the introduction of cone and in the next section we are going to discuss about the formula to find total surface area of cone and in the last section we are going to discuss few examples on that formula. So then coming to the first section of introduction. Now let me define what is a cone. So here cone is a solid that has a circular base and a single vertex. And here in the diagram you can able to see a solid object which has a circular base and also a single vertex. Then such object is called as a cone. And then if this vertex is over the center of the base then such cone is called as right cone. And if it is not then such cone is called as oblique cone. And then coming to the total surface area. So total surface area is nothing but the area of all the sides of an object. Here it includes the areas of top and a bottom surface. So we can say total surface area is equal to lateral surface area plus area of the base. And here this area is called as lateral surface area of cone which is given by the formula pi r l square units and whereas area of the base. So here base is in the form of a circle so area of base will be equal to pi r square square units. And then by adding both the areas we get total surface area. So here we get pi r l plus pi r square and then writing pi r as a common factor we get pi r into l plus r square units as the total surface area and also by writing the value of l which is under root r square plus h square in the formula we get the total surface area of cone as pi r into square root of r square plus h square plus r. And then coming to the next section where we are going to deal with examples. So coming to the first example, here the base area is 616 centimeters square and the height is 48 centimeters. So find total surface area. So here base area that is the area of circle which is 616 centimeters square. So we can write this as pi r square which is equated to the given base area that is 616 and then transferring the value of pi we get r square is equal to 616 into the reciprocal of value of pi. So here we get 7 by 22 and then simplifying we get 22 one time is 22 and 22 28 times is 616 and then multiplying both the terms we get the result over here as 196 so we get r square is equal to 196 so we can write r equal to square root of 196 and we get the result as radius is equal to 14 centimeters and given height h equal to 48 centimeters and r is 14 centimeters so in order to find total surface area first let us find this land height l which is given by the formula under root h square plus r square and then substituting the value of h and r in the formula we get square root of h square that is 48 square plus r square that is 14 square. So that implies we get here square root of 2500 as the result and we already know that 2500 is a perfect square number so we get l equal to 50 centimeters. And then we have to find the total surface area. So total surface area is given by the formula pi r into s plus r where s is nothing but the slant height l. And then writing all the values we get pi that is 22 divided by 7 into the radius 14 into slant height 50 plus radius 14. So we get 50 plus 14 as 64 here. And then simplifying we get 7 1 time is 7 and 7 2 times is 14. So by multiplying all the terms we get the result over here as 2816 centimeter square as the total surface area. And then coming to the next example. 
where the cost of painting the curved surface area of cone at 5 pies per centimeter square is 35 rupees and 20 pies then find slant height if radius is equal to 7 centimeters so cost of painting the curved surface is 35.20 at 5 pies per centimeter square so here total surface area would come as 3520 divided by 5 as your rupees are converted into pies and then simplifying we get 5 1 times is 5 and 5 7 not 4 times is 3520 so we get total surface area as 7 not 4 centimeters square and then we already discussed the formula to find total surface area which is pi r into r plus l which is equated to the total surface area 7 not 4 and then substituting the values of r and pi in the formula we get 22 divided by 7 into the radius 7 plus r plus l which becomes 7 plus l which is equated to 7 not 4 so, and here 7 1 time is 7 and then 7 1 time is 7 so here by multiplying 22 into 7 we get 154 and then multiplying 22 into l we get 22 l which is equated to 7 not 4 and then transferring 154 to the right hand side we get 22L which is equated to 704 minus 154 and here by subtracting we get the result as 550 so now transferring 22 to the right hand side we get L equal to 550 divided by 22 and here by simplifying we get 22 1 time is 22 and 22 25 times is 550 so we get here 25 centimeters as the slant height. So this was a basic introduction on total surface area of cone. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdcacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.